Next concept is the concept of diameter of a circle. Diameter of a circle. Now, normally uh, from our uh, childhood definition, we know that diameter is the longest chord, right? And it passes through the center of the circle. But uh, if you go by the actual locus definition of a diameter, so diameter is defined as the locus of, because I'll be using this definition in other conics as well. It's the locus of the middle points of a system of parallel chords of a circle. Okay. So the locus of the middle point of a system of parallel chords becomes the diameter of the circle. So basically, this definition will be used in all the conics. So we will also have a concept of diameter in case of a, uh, other conics as well. So we'll be using this definition. So let's say this is a circle and uh, we have a set of parallel chords. So these are, let's say, parallel chords. Okay. And if you join the midpoints of these parallel chords, if you join the midpoints of these parallel chords, okay, you get a diameter. So this red line that you see, that's going to be your diameter of the circle. Okay. So now I would request all of you to give me the expression for the equation of a diameter which bisects a system of parallel chords having a slope of m having a slope of m so please give me the equation of a system of parallel chords of the circle the equation of diameter of a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square which bisects all chords of slope m which bisects all chords of slope m it should be done by now guys it's a simple concept Please type done if you're done so that we can start the discussion for it. The so says x plus my equal to zero. That's absolutely correct. So guys, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's say uh, I call the midpoint of this chord as h comma k. So I know the equation of this chord is going to be t equal to s1. Correct. And uh, t equal to s1, uh, t is going to be x h plus y k minus a square is equal to h square plus k square right now we also know that the slope of this is m so uh, from this equation we can find the slope the slope will be minus a by b which is equal to minus h by k and this you have to equate it to m which clearly gives you a relationship between h k and the given information m so minus h is equal to k m so h plus km equal to 0. Now generalize this. When you generalize this, it becomes x plus uh, my equal to 0. So this becomes the equation of the diameter. And as you can see, it is passing through origin. That means it will always pass through the center of the circle. Okay. So now we are moving on to the concept of uh, pole and polar. So now we are going to cover up the concept of pole and polar. Pole and polar. Now the words itself may not be uh, used by JE exam, but uh, more importantly, you need to understand how it is connected to the concept of locus. How it is connected to the concept of locus. That is something which we need to appreciate. So let's draw a circle again with uh, center at origin. Okay. Now within the circle, or it may be outside the circle also, let's say there is a point x1, y1. So let's say this is a point x1, comma y1. Again, I'm repeating the point may be within or without the circle also. It can be outside the circle also. Okay. Now through this point, to this point, I draw, you know, I start drawing um, chords. Okay, so let's say I draw a chord like this. Okay, and I draw a chord like this. 
So I can keep I keep I can keep on drawing many many chords through these two through this point x1 y1. So infinitely many chords can be drawn. Now what I'm doing through the chords which I'm drawing, I am drawing tangents. Okay, so I'm drawing tangents at the end of these chords. Okay, so so I've drawn a tangent here. I've drawn a tangent here. Hope it doesn't move out of the screen. Oh 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 oh. So I have to. Be careful. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the tangent. Okay, so assume that this is the tangent. Now, these tangents will start meeting at certain points whose locus, if you trace, would be that of a straight line. Okay. So these tangents will start meeting on a straight line and that straight line is called the polar for this point which is called the pole right so the line is called the polar and the point x1 y1 would be called the pole so this will be called the pole okay and this line will be called the polar okay now, as a locus, if you see this concept is, uh, you know, the J E can frame a question like this through a point X1, Y1, uh, you are forming within the circle, you are, you are forming uh, chords and through the ends of the chords, you are drawing tangents, find the locus of the meeting point of these tangents, right? So indirectly, they're talking about find the equation of the polar, find the equation of the polar, right? Now guys, even for the polar, the equation is given by t equal to 0 only. Okay, so let's say this is the equation of a circle whose center is at origin. Then the equation of the polar, then the equation of the polar will be given by x x1, x x1 plus y y1 equal to a square only. So see, for the third time now, I'm using this equation. Earlier, I used it for the tangent at x1, y1 point. The other time I used was for the uh, chord of contact drawn from an external point x1, y1. And this time I'm using it for the, for the equation of a polar. So guys, the same expression is now serving three purposes. Equation of a tangent, equation of a chord of contact, and the equation of a polar. Now, I would request you all, first of all, to prove this. So prove that the locus of h comma k is going to be this expression. That is what I am more interested in rather than telling you the names of pole and polar, which probably J will never use because uh, they don't want people to come up with all the jargons. They want them to be smart enough to derive it or find it out. Pretty simple, it should not take you more than half a minute to solve this. Mx plus y equal to 0. No, no, you have to prove this, Pushpinder. You have to prove that the equation of the polar is this, what I have shown you on the screen. You have to prove this. Okay, guys, it's very simple. Uh, you know, assume it the other way around. Assume that from h comma k, you are drawing two tangents. And uh, these two tangents, uh, you know, meet at the circle at these two points okay let's say a and b so a b is the chord of contact and this chord of contact has been satisfied by x1 y1 all right so first of all the equation of the chord of contact drawn from h comma k we all know is again t equal to zero that is x h plus y k equal to a square this is the equation of the chord of contact chord of contact that you are drawing from h comma k okay drawn from h comma k right now uh, this chord of contact let me call it as one so one is being satisfied by is satisfied by the point x1 y1 right because the pole will also lie on the chord of contact so replace your x with x1 y with y1 right in equation number one correct 
right now if you want to find out the locus of h comma k this is the right relation that you have got between h and k now you generalize over here when you generalize it over here you get x1 x y1 y equal to a square correct now it may sound very you know uh, as if i am scamming it over here but that's the truth if you find the chord of contact from h comma k it is going to be satisfied by x1 y1 and just you generalize your h and k with x and y and hence we get the equation of the chord of contact okay so guys uh, a quick question for you before we move on to the properties of pole and polar hope there is no doubt with respect to this so my question here is uh find the pole find the pole of the line of the line lx plus my plus n equal to 0 uh, with respect to the circle with respect to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square now this time i have given you the question in in a reverse fashion i have given you the equation of the uh, polar and i am asking you what is the pole okay so just try doing it your answer should be only in terms of l m and a okay no other parameter should be introduced in the answer it is pretty simple guys pretty pretty simple it should not take you more than uh, 30 seconds please type done on your screen if you have done it so that i can start the discussion aryan sevijya matli pushpinder tapas shares lalita atmesh nikhil snigda nidish Feel, please feel free to type in your answers or at least write done so that I can start the process. Okay, done. Very easy. So guys, we'll assume the point. Let the point from where you are drawing this polar. Let the pole be. Let the pole be x1, y1. Okay. So we know that if the pole is x1, y1 and this is our circle x square plus y square is equal to a square, equation of the polar would be this, right, right, or in other words it will be this, right, and this is same as lx plus my plus n equal to 0. So these two equations, I am claiming that these are the same equations because as per the question this is the polar right now we can compare the coefficients we can compare the coefficients so it's x1 by l will be equal to uh, y1 by m and will be equal to minus a square by n right which clearly gives you x1 as minus a square l by n and y1 as minus a square m by n correct so your pole will be your pole coordinates will be minus a square l by n comma minus a square m by n right so this becomes your answer no doubt about that guys is it clear clr please type on the screen it's clear so that i can proceed with the next slide which is on the concept of properties properties of pole and polar properties of pole and polar okay i'll start this with the very first question if i say tangent if tangent is a polar what will be the pole If the tangent to a circle is a polar, then what should be the pole? Please type it. Is my question clear? If tangent is treated as a polar, then what should be the pole? Anyone?
द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट एग्जैक्टली आर एन करेक्ट सो बेसिकली टेंजेंट इज द पोलार टेंजेंट इज द पोलार विथ पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट एज द पोल पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट एज द पोल ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी यू शुड ऑल नो सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज if o is the center of the circle if o be the center of the circle center of a circle and p be any point p is any point then op is perpendicular to the polar of p op is perpendicular to the polar of p a super super simple property you should be able to prove this within fraction of a second okay so uh let's say this is a point p this is a point p okay and there is a polar of p okay so i'll assume another line this is the polar of p so it says if you connect o to p if you connect o to p it will fall perpendicular on the polar can you prove this super simple done very simple you know that this point let's say i am i'm considering it a case of a generic circle a standard circle having the center at origin and let's say the point p is x1 y1 point p is x1 y1 you know that this line is having a equation x x1 plus y y1 equal to a square so the slope of this line is going to be minus x1 by y1 right whereas the slope of this is the slope of the polar whereas the slope of op the slope of op will be y1 by x1 and if you multiply it slope of the polar into slope of the op you will always get a minus 1 claiming that this angle will always be a 90 degree is that fine super simple concept moving on to the third property guys okay again if o be the center of a circle if o be the center of a circle be the center of a circle and p be any point any point then if op meets the polar of p in q then op dot oq or op into oq will be square of the radius will be square of the radius now op may not meet directly but if if required or if produced if required produced if required so op if produced 
meets the polar of p in q then op square op into oq is radius square so let's quickly construct it all of you please prove it at your end also Okay. Let's say this is your polar. So OP into OQ. OP into OQ is R square. Very, very easy, guys. Should not take you more than a minute. So this point is x1, y1. Polar equation you already know. So uh, yeah, done. let me know if you're done so that I can discuss it. Please type done on your uh, chat box so that I know you're done and we can start the discussion for it. Guys, one important thing I wanted to tell over here, it's not necessary that the pole has to be within the circle. If the pole is outside the circle, uh, you can still form a polar with it and that polar will coincide with the chord of contact. So after this problem, I'll probably explain you that as well because many people have this wrong conception or wrong notion that the polar can only be drawn with the pole inside the circle, but that is not the case. Your pole can outside be outside the circle as well. Is it done? It's very simple. Uh, from the origin, if I find the distance OQ, I just have to use the distance formula. So the distance formula will give me mod A square by under root of X1 square, Y1 square. Correct. This is your OQ. And OP is already under root of X1 square plus Y1 square. Okay, so when you multiply OP into OQ, you are left with mod of A square only because this and this will get cancelled off. So that's actually square of the radius. Right? Okay. So now let's take uh, uh, some questions based on pole and polar. Yeah, before that, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, polar for those points which are outside the circle. Okay, so if let's say a point is outside the circle x1, y1, okay, and you're trying to find out the polar for this point, again, the approach is the same. Approach is the same. The approach is through this point draw, I'm sorry, through this point you draw as many number of lines as you can cutting the circle. So let's say this line, this line, this line, okay, okay, and let's say I draw tangent also. So this is the tangent, let's say this is the tangent. Let's see. Okay. Now, from the meeting point of these lines with the circle, draw two tangents. Draw two tangents at the meeting point. So you would realize that you would realize that the tangents drawn at the extremities of the meeting point of these chords so let's say i'm drawing tangents over here i'm drawing tangent over here 
and tangent over here it will meet on the chord of contact line so it will meet it over here correct so if i draw tangent over here tangent over here tangent over here it will again meet on the chord of contact line so these the polar would actually become your part of or it will become an extension of it will become an extension of your chord of contact chord of contact drawn from where chord of contact drawn from x1 y1 point so if you draw a chord of contact from x1 y1 point only extend that line that will start behaving as your polar right that's why it has the same equation as the chord of contact t equal to 0 if the point x1 y1 is outside the circle are you getting this point guys okay no question